targeting Target. Tonight, police are looking for the crook responsible for a string of shoplifting cases across the metro, stealing thousands from area Target stores. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with a look at how police finally identified their suspect. Police say Gabriel Quintana is responsible for striking Target at least 23 different times, adding to a long criminal history. Putting a laser focus on shoplifters, Albuquerque police are teaming up with big box stores to curb crime. They're not just hitting one business, right? They'll hit a Target, they'll go to Walmart, then they'll go to a Home Depot or a Lowe's. One of those crooks has a taste for Target. Police say Gabriel Quintana, who already boasts a lengthy criminal history, is striking Albuquerque area Target stores, often striking the same store days in a row or hitting multiple stores in one day. Filling carts like this, Quintana made off with thousands in merchandise. From pricey items like big screen TVs and gaming gear to smaller ones like cleaning products and donuts, criminal complaints detail how he racks up each item at checkout, then continues out the door without paying. That's a lot of money that's that's leaving that particular store. From June through September, spawning at least three criminal cases. Court records report he struck the Lomas target at least 17 times, stealing more than $16,000 of goods. The Paseo I-25 target three times with more than $1,800 in merch. The Coors Paseo target three times with more than $2,700 taken in items. And the Montgomery target once, taking 550 bucks worth of stuff. The citizens um, who are working in these particular retail stores, they're doing a fantastic job on the legwork because they're fed up with it. In the first two criminal cases, making up five of those shoplifting incidents, Quintana was released. Now there's a warrant out for his arrest in the 18 other incidents. Police say it's disappointing for citizens putting in all the work to identify shoplifters like Quintana. When these people are let back out on the street, really what it is is it feels like we're letting down the community members. Police say Quintana's thefts have totaled more than 20 grand overall as he faces multiple felonies. And these are the first shoplifting charges Quintana has faced in the state, but his criminal history dates back to 2011 with felony narcotics, car theft, and more. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jamie. Quintana is supposed to appear back in court for the original shoplifting charges later this month.